Bienvenidos, Ushamdi, and welcome to this HUD8 tutorial on how to upgrade your Digibyte Core Wallet. So, what this video is going to be all about is we're going to be looking to answer some of the most common questions that I've seen on Reddit as well as Telegram regarding the upgrade of the wallet. And those questions are, do you need to do a full resync of the blockchain? And that's actually a very good question because my experience with the 6.14.2 version of the Digibyte Core Wallet, I had to wait about a week until it had fully synced up the blockchain. Uh, I actually have an upgrade, or I shouldn't say an upgrade, but I've got a, a fresh install running here on this iMac where I'm doing my recording. I'm gonna pull that up in a second. And that's actually gonna be where I start the tutorial to talk about how amazingly fast this new version, 6.16.1, is syncing up. Now, that's the first question we're going to answer. Do you have to do a full resync, or can you just pick up right from where you left off? The other one is, how do I avoid losing my coins? So we're going to go over the different backup strategies that you can use, and I'm going to show you the three things that I do whenever I go to do a backup of my Digibyte Core Wallet. Then we're going to talk about whether or not your addresses change. And so you can see I have my tip jar, tip jar address here, right? So I've got my QR code and my tip jar address. And so we'll validate uh, that these are actually still my addresses when I do or after I do the upgrade and complete the upgrade. And then one of the final questions that I've seen is, do you have to do an uninstall of the old version or can you simply just go ahead and install the new version on top of the old version? And we'll take a look at that. And for those of you who saw my uh, red coin core wallet upgrade, that was one of the most common questions I had seen was, well, wait a second, if I have to uninstall the wallet, do I then lose all of my coins? And we saw that that didn't happen. And so we'll go ahead and we'll walk through the steps here with the Digibyte core wallet upgrade. So where to start? Well, I've already downloaded and kicked off a completely fresh install here. You can see that this is the version, version 6.16.1. And I apologize, it's a little small. Unfortunately, in the installer, I'm unable to increase the size of the text there. Now, if you take a look here, it says it's got 66 minutes left to go. But what's amazing about this, and it's doing, again, it's doing a full blockchain sync here because I haven't ever had the Digibyte wallet installed on this iMac. What's amazing about this is that I started this at one o'clock, right around one o'clock this afternoon in anticipation of doing this video tonight. So as you can see, and I mean, we're already down to 60 minutes. I wouldn't be shocked, it's moving pretty quickly. So we're already down to an hour, and that is a full blockchain sync, right? I mean, this is a brand new fresh install. And so again, version 6.16.1, which is the latest version, I've noticed is syncing exponentially faster um, than the 6.14.2. We've also got a little newer look here. Right, so you can see we've got the overview screen, which we're, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this right now. Uh, but it's much nicer. I mean, the user experience here, I talked a little bit about the Exodus wallet in a previous tutorial I did on the KinCoin. Uh, and let me tell you, this, I love the design, I love the new design, much nicer design, and kind of in line with what I saw with Exodus to an extent, right, to an extent. I think the Exodus wallet, you know, really had some, some bells and whistles that were pretty nice. But this, again, fantastic improvement over 614.2. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about number one, where do you get your Digibyte Core wallet? Well, there is only one place that I would go to get the wallet. I wouldn't follow a link that you get from somebody. I would come to the Digibyte homepage, which is digibyte.io. And right up here on the top, on the right, you can see that it says wallets. So if I was to click on wallets, they've got a full, full plate of wallets to choose from here. So Windows 64-bit and 32-bit, Mac OS X, Linux 32 and 64-bit, the Digibyte Go Wallet, and I just saw a call for this, uh, a call out for some assistance to get this over the finish line. They're actually getting ready to come out with uh, an iOS wallet as well as an Android wallet. And then there's some third-party wallets that they recommend down here. So again, extremely easy to come in and to find the wallet that you would like. Now, one of the reasons I'm doing this tutorial is I did look through some of the guides, right? 
and they've got some basics and they've got some wallet set up. But one of the things I didn't see, uh, and not to say that it's not here, I just I didn't see it when I was poking around, is anything that sort of detailed, hey, I've got a Digibyte wallet, 614.2, and I want to upgrade to 616.1. How do I do the upgrade? And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to perform that upgrade. So you would go ahead, download whatever version of the wallet it is that you're going to use. And I've already got it downloaded here. And we're going to remote desktop in. And this is over on my PC. So as you can see, the look and feel of the wallet, a little bit different, right? We've kind of got some, you know, plain text here, whereas the, the 1 version definitely looks a lot nicer. So from a user experience perspective, uh, very, very big um, improvement from a user experience perspective. All right, so the first thing that you should do before you go to attempt any upgrade is to back up your wallet, right? So I'm going to come up here to File and then just simply choose backup wallet. Now, what I do is I put it out on a USB stick. You can see the name of the stick here is DGB. So we'll go into our folder and we'll go into February. And you can see here I've got this 1642 pre-upgrade and I'll just change the date to tomorrow's date. And this is how you would create your, and this is the equivalent of the wallet.dat, right? And you can see right down here it says wallet data. So I'm just giving it the name uh, the Digibyte wallet with the version and the pre-upgrade and tomorrow's date. And I'm going to click Save. And this is going to save it out to uh, the USB stick that I have, which shows up as my G drive. What I also do is I create a backup, and I keep that backup local on the PC itself. And so we'll come into February, and I think I may have already done it. I did, and so we'll just change the date here. So I was making sure that if I forgot to do this, we've got a backup, right? So I keep a local copy as well. And then what I'll do is I will pull up my Brave web browser. And again, a big plug for the Brave web browser. Uh, I'm a content creator. And so that's how I approach these videos is anything uh, that can help me monetize my content is a good thing. And the Brave web browser is doing that as well. So if you haven't checked the Brave web browser out, I would definitely give it a look. All right, so the last thing I do is I pull my Brave web browser up and I'll keep a copy out on Dropbox. And so I've got a folder there where I keep my wallet.dat backup files. All right, so now that I've completed the backups and the square that I have covering up uh, the recent transactions is because I've been testing with a friend of mine and his name is here, so we've got that uh, covered up. But, so we've got the file downloaded. So I've got everything backed up. Let's go ahead, we're gonna quit the Digibyte Core Wallet. And what you're going to notice here is that it's going to tell me that the Core Wallet is shutting down and then the window went away. So here is 616.1, right? Windows 64-bit. And let's go ahead and double click and let's see what happens. Now, I haven't uninstalled the old version yet. And with the red coin, you can see I just did the red coin upgrade here. Red coin would actually stop and fail because the old version was still installed. So let's walk through and let's see what happens here. So choose an install location. I'll go ahead and I'll pick that same location. And we'll take all of the defaults. Aha! So this is the exact same error that I received when I went to do the Redcoin wallet install. It comes up and tells me error opening file for writing, and it says click abort to stop the installation or, um, or ignore this skip and try again. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to abort the installation because what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uninstall the current version. So let me go ahead and click on the X there. So we'll stop that. Let me pull control panel up here. And this PC is not the quickest of PCs. So we'll give it a second here and there we go. And so we'll go to, and where is it at? I'm squinting here. Applications, where are we? programs and features. And so I'm looking for the Digibyte, whoops, sorry, the Digibyte core, and it keeps moving on me here. The Digibyte core, and you can see it gives me the version 6.14.2. And so 
we definitely want to uninstall that version. So let's click on uninstall. And again, I apologize, I can only make this window so big. So we'll click uninstall, it's gonna pull everything off. Uninstallation uh, was complete, so we'll go ahead and click close. So again, very important, we remove the old version. So now, when I come to do the install, and sort of having that experience from the Redcoin wallet upgrade, uh, it makes it you know a little easier to do this and a little, um, a little less stressful, right? Knowing that we have to uninstall it, that that's not a bad thing. All right, so I've come into C program files and it appears that for whatever reason uh, that there is a Digibyte QT that's already here in this Digibyte directory. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this folder and I'll stick it on my backup drive here, my USB stick, just for safekeeping. And we're gonna get it out of, and wait a second, find another program. All right, let's give it a second here. Yeah, so it looks like that folder does not wanna go away. And you can see I did my original install back on 1.6. It says it's being used, but there is nothing that is using it. So let me go ahead and cut that. Let's try again here. And let me come into DGB and see if I can drop it right here. All right, let's go look at our task manager actually. All right, so it looks like the problem is that the Digibyte core GUI node is still running in the background. So, and that's why we have a folder in C program files Digibyte that for whatever reason, when the uninstall took place, we actually waited for this to complete and the window went away. However, it looks like this process is still running. So I'm gonna click in task. So now that task is gone. So now if I come back over here to this PC, C drive, program files, we've got the Digibyte folder and this is the file that was not allowing us to do the install because it was already here and it was being used. But again, this was from my original installation date and you can see, uh, if I mouse over, you can see date created was January 6th at 4.03 p.m. So let's do this, let's cut this. I'm gonna back it up and I'll just throw it over here on this USB stick real quick and we'll just drop it right here. All right, so we'll throw this out on the USB stick for safekeeping even though we're gonna go ahead and do the upgrade. So I've basically uninstalled the 6.14.2 version of the Digibyte wallet, and I've gone ahead and cleaned up in C program files the Digibyte folder by cutting it and bringing it here. So if I was to go back, you can see that now there is no Digibyte folder. So we should now be able to go ahead and put in the version that we are interested in upgrading to. So let's come down to downloads. And here we go, there's the Digibyte 616 one. So let's give this a shot again. And let's knock this out here. So we'll take all the defaults. And now as you can see, we're able to write everything. So I'll click next and I'll let it go ahead and run the node. So we'll get rid of this window here that we no longer need. And now we should have the Digibyte Core Wallet come up. You can see version 6.16.1, loading the block info. And again, this PC is a little slower, so we'll give it a few seconds here. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll pause and then we'll come right back. All right, so it took a little longer than I expected on the PC, but again, the PC is a little slower, but here it is, and check it out. My Digibyte balance is exactly the same. I did not have to process the entire blockchain, so there was no full resync that was required. I didn't lose any of my coins, even though we uninstalled the previous version completely, and I even went into C program files and pulled the Digibyte folder, cut it out, and put it somewhere for safekeeping. Um, so yeah, you need to uninstall the old version, right? But take a look, you're gonna be good to go. And now 
I'm going to go ahead and check to see the final answer that we're looking for is, does this change any of my Digibyte addresses? In fact, let's see, I had uh, a couple that I was using here, and it looks like, oh, wait, we're going to go to receive. Sorry, not send. I wanted to receive. And absolutely fantastic, all three of the addresses that I've been testing with are still here. So let me double click on this. And this should match up, yeah, that 5Z4 Delta. And this is the exact same logo, or the same QR code, I should say, same QR code and the same address that I have on the opening slide. So we've answered all of the key questions here with an upgrade of the Digibyte Core Wallet. So again, one more time to review. Do we have to do a full resync when, resync when we do our upgrade? The answer is no, you don't. You're going to pick up from right where you left off. Did you lose any coins? The answer to that is no, you're not going to lose any coins. Do your addresses change? We saw that the answer is no. In fact, I was using those three addresses previously, and all three of them are there. You can see right here that 5Z4D, the same address is available to me. And do you have to do an uninstall? And the answer is yes. So again, I apologize. We hit some bumps there in the middle where the PC, for whatever reason, did not kill the previous Digibyte Core process. I had to go into the control panel under, I'm sorry, under the task manager and kill that. But again, much nicer interface. Uh, definitely some nice bells and whistles in there. And let me go ahead and tell you, let's do one last check here and see Take a look at that. It finished. This is the fresh install. And I apologize, this is not the fresh install I was looking for. Where are we at? Actually, that is the fresh install. Yeah. So this is the fresh install right here that I did from ground zero. You can see we're still syncing with the network a little bit down here. It looks like there's a little bit to go. But we've got just about everything finished here. And this is all done. Uh, it'll be finished in under five hours, it looks like. So some huge improvements on the new wallet. Those are the steps that you need to do. Uh, my tip jar address is there if you feel so inclined. Hopefully this has helped you out, and hopefully this is, again, has sort of uh, gotten rid of any fears that you might have when doing the upgrade. Remember, always, always, always back up. I would put on a USB stick, keep it locally, and then maybe keep it somewhere in the cloud. Uh, while you do your upgrade, just in case you need to roll back. All right. Well, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching. Again, hopefully this has helped you out, and have a great night.